Patrick and his good friend Hank went to Playland on Monday with their physics class. Hank is an excellent student, but Patrick hasn't been paying attention all semester. They stood in a long line, waiting patiently to ride the helicopter ride. I'll bet this ride needs a lot of energy to run, Patrick said. Yes, but it has a lot of energy too, Hank said. Let's go to the pirate ship and I'll explain what I mean there. Hank and Patrick walked over to the pirate ship. And quickly grabbed a spot in line. The ride was just starting. Hank, how does this ride have energy? Patrick said. Hank replied, I'll tell you in a minute, Patrick. See, look, Hank said. Right there, at the top of the arc, when the ride stops for a brief moment at the top, the ride has energy. It's called potential energy. Patrick then asked, what's potential energy? Hank responded, potential energy is the energy due to an object's position. Does that make sense? Patrick said it did. What type of energy is that then? Patrick asked, when the ride is actually moving. That's kinetic energy, Hank said. Kinetic energy is when an object is in motion. Potential energy is converted to kinetic energy, Hank said. That's pretty cool, Patrick responded. Let's go see what potential and kinetic energy feels like, Patrick said. Definitely, Hank said. Let's go. They quickly got into their seats, anxiously awaiting the start of the ride. The ride started momentarily. Potential energy is an unbelievable feeling, Patrick said. Definitely, Hank said back. Look how far we can see, Patrick said. Yeah, Hank replied. Kinetic energy feels wonderful too, Patrick said. He was so excited. We're traveling at a fast velocity, eh, Patrick? Hank said. Certainly, Patrick replied. When they got off the ride, Hank yelled joyously, That was fun! Hank and Patrick lost track of time. The school bus left in five minutes. It was already 2.15 in the afternoon. Let's go, Patrick! Hank shouted. Luckily, they both got on the bus. What a finish to a fantastic day.